Welcome back to another toy gun review. <sighs> this is the Umrex TAC converter. Which basically is just a pistol and a, like a a carbine or I guess you say a submachine gun a shell. Shell, shell, yeah, shell, whatever you want to call it. I don't think you can say it. It's a shell. It sounds so weird, shell. Okay, well, um, comes in this box right here. Go ahead and bring it up. Comes in this box. And give me a minute to fucking fix this. It's semi auto, so you have to, like, you know, like a pistol. Pick and pick and ten and I'm gonna fuck the rails. So basically, it's the rails. Um, rear sights take steel baby, so steel BBs 4.5 millimeters, 12 ground CO2, and it's an Umrex XPG CO2 pistol, which is this right here. And when you get it, just all that, see, and it shows you like it's a there we go, a pistol. Comes with all this stuff. Well, well, not all this stuff, but it comes with a manual to tell you what you can do and how to take it out. Or if you want to put it back in, to put it back in. All that stuff. If you want to, you know, read that. <clears throat> so it comes with a, a foldable stock. Let's see if you can take it out. There we go. Looks nice. And this is where you put the CO2 right here. You put the. Let's see if you can just do this. You put, oh my god. And you blow it up. And you put the CO2 there. Put it in. Close it. Then you have this right here. That's where you twist it. Oh, what the hell is this in my nose? Okay, you twist it. And it should release the CO2 in the gun. And it's a dropout mag, basically a stick mag. <laughs> you know, this one's kind of a universal. Universal. Then all these words I say this sounds so weird. Um, to other guns, just put that back. Comes with a foregrip. You can take it out you want. When I ordered it, it didn't have. I was missing one of these right here. That's why it's like that. Um, it does not come with a laser. I just bought that because it looked awesome. You got all that right there. Oh, it's still on. Oh no, it was just yeah. That's why I was waiting on it. Um, all that you can put a flashlight or put a red no red dot sight. I mean, you can put a red dot sight on here if you want. Any, any angle here, 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 whichever you prefer. Or you can put a um, laser on it. So yeah, it's pretty good. Safety's right here. And I cannot take it off. There we go. Dix takes uh, 19 to 20 rounds, I think, on the mag. How do I fold this back? Uh, just press this to fold it in. There you go. So basically, this is how it looks. Whole thing. See, it's nice, good looking. Has some weight to it. But everything's mostly hard plastic. Everything. So you can get a red dot side or green dot side on here, because I, I don't know. It just, it just looks awesome. And I also have a little flashlight. Let me get one of those. So that'll be it for this review. Oh well, I forgot something. Um, it has 410 FPS. Oh yeah, it is 19 rounds. It has a smooth barrel, which you know, yeah, you, you won't wonder about that. I'm reading the fucking manual, my dude. Well, yeah, um, pretty cool. Uh, 50 bucks you can get Amazon. I don't think you can get at the stores. I haven't, I haven't like every gun I mostly get. I haven't seen at the stores for some reason. Like in Walmart or Academy, and Academy's more expensive, like 10 bucks or five bucks extra than Walmart. 
I haven't seen it in Target. I don't think Target even has a sports and good so place. I'm not too sure. But it's a pretty good gun. Fifty bucks, like I said, probably be all like in total like fifty five, maybe sixty plus like shipping and shit. Unless there's like free shipping then it's just fifty bucks. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. So don't forget to leave a like or you want dislike and you know that you have a choice, it doesn't really matter. Or in um comment and also uh subscribe.